Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to follow up on that ography discharge and see how it does. Just had to show you this beautiful, beautiful flower that's blooming right now. Okay, let's get on with the video. So following up how this Ogrefy 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate is running the refrigerator and holding up. It's doing fantastic. We're coming right up on 24 hours of run time. Running this 300 watt Best Tech Pure Sine Wave Inverter running this 20 cubic foot refrigerator. It's pulling 64 watts right now. It's been running constant, not constantly. I mean, it does a cycle, but I mean, we've been running it now for 24 hours and let's see what it's looking like here with the the rest of the functions on this watt meter. So pulling 64 watts, that's just about normal. Ambient temperature about 80 degrees. Refrigerator's full. Everything's nice and cold as it should be. It's pulled so far 0.951 kilowatt hours. So at 24 hours, we're just two minutes shy of 24 hours. So. That's close enough. It's taken less than half of its 2,560 watt hour capacity. So very good. Very happy with that. And the other thing I'll mention is, oh, there you can see that that inverter is running at 110.7 volts. So all is good there. 1.05 amps. The low is 1.3 watts. That's the lowest it does, and that's just how much the little inverter d uh, takes just in a standby mode. So this records all of that. And then there's the high. That's the high, and as I've mentioned before, this is uh, when it goes into the automatic defrost cycle, and it always pulls right about 200 uh, watts and the highest it registered was 212 watts during that cycle. It does that for about 20 minutes when it does that. Little inverter, no problem. It doesn't really do a surge when it kicks it up that, although this little inverter says it can take up to a 700 watt surge. I've never tried that, but it's working perfectly in this demonstration. So all in all, very happy. 65 watts running and there we are right at 24 hours and so far less than half of that battery has been used so this is good very happy with it okay here we are on night two 35 hours in five minutes we've been running off that battery and right now the refrigerator is not running it just turned off a minute ago and it's taken 1.47 kilowatt hours so a little bit more than half of the capacity at 35 hours. We'll see what it does on the lower half, how fat more uh, quickly it will drain that battery. Sometimes they do on that second half, but we'll see. It's doing pretty good. 35 hours in and Right there, 
nothing coming in. That's still the high wattage it ever drew in that defrost cycle. And that's what it's pulling right now, 1.4 watts. And that's just the standby mode for that little inverter there. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning. It's probably going to run out at some point tomorrow. We shall see. Okay, we just, just now hit 48 hours on discharging this battery, running this 20 cubic foot refrigerator 24 seven. It has not been off at all. And we just approached or just passed 48 hours. You might be able to hear how quiet that best tech inverter is. It's running. Refrigerator is running, pulling 67 watts. The ambient temperature is 82 degrees in here right now. And let's look at a couple of the other uh, functions that we can register so far. So far, 1,783 watt hours or 1.783 kilowatt hours. And we know this battery has a capacity of 2,560 watt hours. So at 48 hours, we've got a ways to go yet, as you can see. So this is being very impressive. And just as a reminder, we're discharging the very first full discharge to see if this lives up to its specifications. It looks like it's going to easily uh, do that. And I did just put a multimeter on there. Of course, it doesn't, you know, really give an accurate reading while it's running, but it showed uh, 12.68 volts. But that's, of course, as a, the battery is draining and, and also receiving a charge. So not accurate, but I was just curious to see what it read. 12.68 right now under these conditions. Okay. Yeah, 1,784 watt hours out of 2,560. So we're going to run this till it goes dead, like I said. That little inverter putting out just a rock steady 110 volts. A little over one amp. The lowest uh, wattage recorded in this experiment, that's 1.3. That's just when the refrigerator is not running. And that's just what it takes to keep the uh, inverter on in standby mode. So super efficient there. That's the highest registered wattage still and that's 212 watts and that is like I've mentioned when the automatic defrost kicks on once a day so it hasn't and the other thing I'll say some people have wondered how much of a surge I have not seen a surge it just when the defrost comes on it just pulls 212 watts holds that for about 20 minutes then goes back to normal operation so right there under load 67 watts in the big 20 cubic foot refrigerator. So we're going to let the test keep running 48 hours and still got quite a ways to go to hit 2560. We'll be back. Well I had kept a very close eye on the uh, discharging, the full discharge of the Ography and I had just missed when it cut off by about five minutes. And I want to tell you that uh, it ran for 52 hours and 26 minutes. 52 hours and 26 minutes running that refrigerator. Everything was shut down when I came by it. One time I walked past it, it was still running. I knew it was probably getting low. Next time, five minutes later, it was off. So what I've done is I've quickly put this back into the charging station to bring it back up to a full charge. So after 52 hours and 26 minutes of running that refrigerator, when I tested the battery voltage, it was 11.6 volts. 
and on the watt meter it registered 1.978 kilowatt hours. So that's under what it's rated, and I'm not sure why that is, it, it, whether my uh, watt meter might not have been completely accurate or not, or if it just had something to do with the way it was being discharged, I really don't know. That's a little under what it's rated. And I will do further tests on this over time to find out if it's truly not living up to capacity or if it was a fault in the watt meter, which we are going to use in another test anyway. So yeah, 52 hours, 26 minutes of running that refrigerator. Pretty good. So as soon as that Ography battery had drained down to that 11.6 volts and shut the inverter off and the refrigerator, of course, pretend scenario continues. We have a backup fully charged spare battery to move into place. And after uh, just a few minutes of hooking this up, we're back in action with our spare. In this mock situation, it has been running for 18 hours, a little over 18 hours. Refrigerator is on, drawing 52 watts, 0.556 kilowatt hours in this 18 hours. And we'll continue now with our experiment to see how long uh, this particular battery goes. It boasts a 230 amp hour capacity. And we'll see how much longer it goes or not. So stay tuned for that one and we'll follow that for the next couple of days as well. Well, we're thinking about all of our friends in Florida Hoping a lot of the friends of the channel will chime in and let us know that they're doing okay. We see the devastation. We're all concerned and thinking about you. Let us know how you're doing, friends. Aloha.